Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.Core and uh, today we are going to prepare uh, 10 important questions uh, that uh, that questions will be asked uh, in your interview so just must be prepared so here we have 20 questions of uh, on ASP.Core and uh, um, many uh, answers are also uh, given so the first question in ASP.NET mostly asked by the interviewer so you prepared very well. The first question is what is ASP.NET Core? The answer is ASP.NET Core is an open source web development framework developed by Microsoft. It allows developers to build modern high performance web application using .NET. So that is the answer of your ASP.NET Core is an open source web development framework developed by Microsoft. Okay. So the second question is what are the benefits of using ASP.NET Core? Why we use, you can say that ASP.NET Core is used. So the answer is some benefits of using ASP.NET Core include cross-platform support, high performance, built-in dependency injection, and support for modern web development practices. So here we have the answer of what are the benefits of using ASP.NET Core. Now, the third question is, what programming languages are supported by ASP.NET Core? The answer is, ASP.NET Core supported several programming languages like C Sharp, F Sharp, and Visual Basic. Now, the fourth question is, what is middleware in ASP.NET Core? Mostly as asked by the interviewer, that is the question, and you know that uh, about the middleware. Middleware is a software that sits between the client and the web application and handles request and the response. In ASP.NET Core, middleware is used to add functionality to the HTTP pipeline. So, must know about the middleware that is a pipeline you can say a request and response pipeline. Okay. Now the fourth and now the fifth question is, what is dependency injection in ASP.NET Core? It's also a most important question in ASP.NET Core that is dependency injection. Dependency injection is a design pattern used to provide objects with their dependencies. In ASP.NET Core, dependency injection is built into the framework and allow developers to easily inject dependencies into their application. So, must know about dependency injection. Now, the sixth question is what is Razor Pages in ASP.NET Core? So, that answer is Razor Pages is a new feature in ASP.NET Core that allows developers to build web pages using Razor syntax. Razor Pages is similar to ASP.NET Web Form but uses modern web development practices. Now the sixth question is completed. Seventh question is right. What is Razor in ASP.NET Core? The difference between the Razor Pages and the Razor is also must to know. Razor is a markup syntax for embedding server-side code into HTML page. Razor views are used to generate dynamic HTML content in ASP.NET Core. Now the eighth question is, what is difference between Razor Pages and MVC in ASP.NET Core? So must know about the Razor and the Razor Pages. So the difference between both are Razor Pages is a new feature in ASP.NET Core that allows developers to build web pages using Razor syntax without using the MVC pattern. MVC is more traditional pattern that separates the application into model, views, and control. So the Razor is a syntax, and the Razor Pages is a, a server-side code to uh, convert your, you can say that dynamic convert into the HTML page. Okay. <coughs> Now, the ninth question is, what is the difference between RESTful API and the Web API? Is also mostly asked by the interviewer in ASP.NET Core. RESTful API follows a specific set of design pattern like design endpoints in the RESTful API, while Web API are more general and can use any design pattern like uh, it's not focusly uh, on endpoints, it's focused on controllers, action methods, etc. RESTful APIs typically use HTTP verb to define the action that can be performed on resources while web APIs can use any mechanism for defining actions. Now the 10th question is what is Swagger? 
in ESP.NET Core. So mostly asked by the interviewer is also must to know about the Swagger and Web API. Swagger is a tool for generating document for Web API. It allows developer to describe the API endpoints and the data type used in the API. And it can generate HTML document that can be viewed in a web browser. Now, the number 11th question, what is the difference between ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET MVC? That is the mostly asked by that question. So, it's a 20 questions, you can just set of 20 questions is mostly important questions asked by the interviewer and must to know about uh, that question because it's more important for your uh, career. ASP.NET Core is a cross-platform open source web framework that can be used to build a web application, APIs and more. ASP.NET MVC is a specific pattern for building web application using ASP.NET, which has been integrated into ASP.NET Core as one of several options. So that is the difference between ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET MVC. And now the 12th question is what is Kestrel in ASP.NET Core? You know that Kestrel is a cross-platform web server that is included with ASP.NET Core by default. It is designed to be lightweight and fast and it can be used to post ASP.NET Core application. Now the 13th question is what is the difference between ViewBag and ViewData in ASP.NET Core? If you are a developer, then must to know about the difference between ViewBack and ViewData and the temp data. Okay, so here we have ViewBack and the ViewData. ViewBack and the ViewData are both used to pass data from a controller to a view in ASP.NET Core. ViewBack is a dynamically property that can be used to pass data between a controller and a view. While ViewData is dictionary-like object that can be used to pass data between a controller and a view. Now the 14th question is, what is Entity Framework Core in ASP.NET Core? So Entity Framework Core is an object relational mapping ORM framework that is included with ASP.NET Core. It can be used to interact with the database in a variety of ways, including creating, reading, updating, and deleting data. So that is the Entity Framework Core. Now the fifth question is, what is the difference between a razor view and a razor page in ASP.NET Core? So the difference is a razor view is a file that contains HTML markup, that is the razor view and razor page, markup and C sharp code, and it is used to generate HTML output based on the data provided by the controller. A razor page is a self-contained web page that contains both HTML markup and the C sharp code, and it can be used to generate HTML output based on the data provided by page itself. So that is the razor page and the razor view, you can say that HTML markup page. Okay, now the 616 question is, what is SignalR in ASP.NET Core? SignalR is a real-time web framework that is included with ASP.NET Core. It allows for two-way communication between a client and the server, enabling features such as live updates and chat functionality. Now the seventh, uh, 17th question is, what is the difference between in-process and out-of-process hosting in ASP.NET Core? In-process hosting means that an ASP.NET Core application run inside the same process as the web server, while out-of-process hosting means that the application runs in a separate process from the web server. Out-of-process hosting is more flexible as it is allowed for more granular controller control over the application, but it can be less performant than in-process hosting. Now the 18th question is, what is the difference between a .NET Framework and .NET Core? .NET Framework application is a Windows specific application that runs on the .NET Framework, while .NET Core application is a cross application, cross platform application that can run on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. .NET Core is also more lightweight and modular than the .NET Framework. Now the 19th question is, what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous programming in ASP.NET Core? Synchronous programming involves executing code in a sequential manner, while asynchronous programming involves executing code in a non-blocking manner. In ASP.NET Core, asynchronous programming is typically used to improve the responsiveness and scalability of the web application. 
Now the twentieth question and the last question is: What is the difference between a cookie and then in ESP.NET Core authentication? Cookies are a small text file that are stored on a user's device and used to identify the users between requests. Tokens are self-contained pieces of data that are used to authenticate a user and can be passed between systems. In ESP.NET Core authentication, cookies are typically used for session management, while tokens are used for authentication. So that's why here we have twentieth question and important question in ESP.NET Core. You must to know about this. Thank you very much.